Okay, so today's lunch is veggie burgers. Okay. Veggie burgers. There is, what is it called? Beyond Burger. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna take a how can I say a wing at it? Season it with some salt. Okay. See, I got sea salt, but you could do it however you want to do it. This is some Montreal steak seasoning. Gonna put some of that on there. It's not, you know, just to try it out. Boom. Put some pepper. I don't need to show you the pepper. You know what pepper look like. Um, okay. We're going to do some paprika. Now, you might not know what paprika look like, so look. That's that stuff right there, okay? All right. All right. <laughs> Listen, I love me some paprika. Listen. Listen. Anything I eat got to have paprika on it <laughs> from now on in my life. <laughs> At this current time in my life, <laughs> everything got to have paprika on it. Okay, we got some garlic, garlic powder. Boom. I'm sure it's already seasoned. It has probably like fresh onions and vegetables and stuff, but I always like to put extra because I like flavor. All right, here's a little bit of rosemary. You don't have to put that on there. I'm just doing it because. That's the same. Excuse me. Whoop. Whoopsie. All right. I'm just doing it because that's the seasoning that I have, and that's the seasonings that I usually use. All right. So I think that's going to be it for the seasoning. I think I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil just to give it an extra fry. Okay. No matter, it doesn't matter what olive oil you use, just use some olive oil. Um, let's see. I'm going to see about flipping it right now so I can season the other side. Okay? So, it's no right way to do it. Just do it how you feel led to do it. Okay? Let the Holy Spirit lead you into cooking your food. Amen? Alrighty. Okay, because Holy Spirit can guide us for everything. Holy Spirit teach you how to cook, teach you how to shop, teach you how to get this guap. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. When I'm talking about guap, I mean money. Okay, money. So, listen. We're going to focus on the subject at hand, and this is veggie burgers today we're not gonna focus on anything else but veggie burger all right amen hallelujah thank you jesus all right so you saw what i just did i just turned it over seasoned the other side not um too much extra stuff do light salt because i've been i've been a little bit going ham with the salt um uh just because I just, it's just a seasoning that I use, but um, use it how you want to use it, okay? I think I might put a little bit of butter, but I don't want to make it too wet because this thing got to be held together. It's not a regular burger, it's a veggie burger. So we got to try to make it hold together and not be all wet and stuff. So I'm just going to turn the fire up, let it cook. All righty, all righty. All right, so now let's turn this thing around, okay? We're going to focus on the onion, the red onion, okay? Let's see if you can see that. Okay, let's move this out the way. We're going to focus on cutting the red onion. The, the red onion. <laughs> okay, I... I already have a cutting board right here, but I still, for some reason, use a plate because that's just what I like to do. I, um, that's just what I like to do. I like to cut my stuff on a plate because I mostly use this cutting board as a, as a dish 
holder. Like as it, like after I'm doing my dishes, I put all my dishes on the cutting board. I don't really use it for other stuff. I mostly use the plate to cut stuff. But you can use whatever you want. If you got a paper plate, if you got a plastic plate, if you got, listen, if you want to use your hand, cut it on your hand. No, I wouldn't recommend that. Okay? I wouldn't recommend it. And here I am after speaking about it, I'm cutting it on the cutting board. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do first is cut it on the cutting board, and then once I get the skin off, because this part, you know, has been all over the grocery store, after I get the skin off, then Mama's going to, um, okay, Mama's going to put it on the plate, rinse it off, and put it on the plate. I love red onions. I haven't had red onions in such a long time. I don't know why, but I absolutely love red onions more than white onions. I mean, you can cook. Woo! Already it's making my eyes burn. You can cook um, with any onion, you know what I mean? But for sandwiches and burgers and stuff like that, and anything fresh you're going to make, for some reason that red onion, it just, it just hits the spot. It's like a spice in it that that is just out of this world. All right, so we're gonna cut that part off. We're just gonna just do a ring of a few onions, not, you know, I'm making two burgers, so I'll do two cuts. You don't gotta be perfect, just get it done, okay? Season it well. Look, cooking is easy. Cooking can be very easy. Um, all you need to do is season your food well and make it simple for yourself it's not perfection okay it's not about perfection it's about making it simple season it season the food to your liking and putting love in it putting love in your food and how you put love in it is that you make it you make your food with care like don't just carelessly put your food together make your food with some care around here okay you see those lovely red onions? Look at that. Look at, look at, look at that. Look at God. <laughs> you see that? Don't look at my nails. I just, I gotta, I gotta fix them up a little bit, but. All right. You see that? Look at that. Look at that. The circle of life. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna turn this back around. All right, all right. <laughs> Okay, okay, look at that, look at that, look at how lovely it's looking, you see that, look at that, I, I can't wait to see how it tastes, because yesterday I had a store, I had a restaurant bought veggie burger, uh, if I can speak right, and um, today I went to the store, and I'm just like, look, I got a taste for that veggie burger again, and I said, look, I'm going to try it out myself, I'm going to cook it myself. And recently, I just had a thought to um, try to make my own veggie burger. This, like I said, was store-bought, already prepackaged. But what I'm saying is, I just recently been thinking about making my own veggie burger. I boiled some lentils recently, and they're still in the fridge. And I know people make lentil burgers and things like that. So, I don't really know what I'm going to do with those lentils. Ah, let me see. What's that? No. Yeah. No, thank you, baby. Okay, so recently I've just been like, hey, I want to do something with those lentils because I made tacos the other day with turkey meat. And I was like, I got these lentils and I kind of want to make taco meat with the lentils and season it with the taco meat. But I ended up forgetting and I never did. So I still got the lentils in there. And I might try to make it as like a taco meat and put taco seasoning on it and put it on some tacos. Um, or I might try to do something and make a burger out of it. But I just gotta, I just have to um, look up the recipe. Mama, no thank you. Okay. No thank you, no thank you. I just have to look up the recipe. But I know you don't want to hear me talking all this, all this time. So I'm just going to let you watch how the burger is cooking, okay? And I think I'm gonna take some of this, some of this. Uh, what is it? Gook. 
from the from the veggie meat, I'm gonna take it off and just pour it down the sink. Pour some of it down. All right, and while we're waiting, we're gonna put the onion away. This part, we're gonna keep that and just plastic wrap. That's why I forgot to get plastic wrap. But what I'm gonna do is just put it in a Ziploc bag. Um. I don't remember what I had in here. But, okay. So, usually it's good. That's why I should have got the plastic wrap. I'm so mad I didn't get it, but it's okay. I have a Ziploc bag. And you, some people, you can put your you can put your, um, your veggies that you want to keep. You can put them in, in some kind of plastic. I think it's better to put it in some kind of plastic. I just put it in a glass Ziploc bag. Um, but you can put it in plastic wrap, a Ziploc bag, however you want to do it. But it stays fresher when you put it in a Ziploc bag. And make sure you take the air out of it. Come here, baby. Let me see your face. Mommy wants to see you right here. Okay, so just put it in a glad plastic wrap or, or glad bag, whatever. Come here, Mama. Just don't put it in foil. That's that's what that, that's the point that I was getting to. Don't put your try not to put too much things in foil. I mean it's okay if you're cooking with foil or you're baking with foil, but try not to store your food in foil. Because I heard something recently that foil is not so good to hold your food in foil so much. So just try to use plastic and make sure it's BPA free. Just for health reasons. You know, do what you can. You know, leave the rest up to God. Okay, Mama, let me see you. All right. So I'm trying to make this kind of quick. So, baby, let me see you. Okay, so now we got the buns. These are potato buns. You can use whatever buns you want. And they're kind of big buns. And I, and I wasn't going to get these today. I was going to get the other ones, like the Mitchell. I forgot what they're called. But they're called something like Mitch, Mitch, something Mitch. But I decided to get these. Um, and this is kind of like the bun that I had yesterday when I went to the restaurant. They kind of had a bigger bun. So I said, you know what? I'm going to get the bigger bun. I'm going to sit it right here. And, um, and let's see how that goes. I'm sure it's going to be lovely. So, we're doing that. We're going to grab some cheese. Okay. Use whatever cheese you want. I got provolone because I found it to be the healthiest cheese. Somebody told me that before. I didn't necessarily look it up, but I just went by what they said because they were like sort of a nutritionist. So, it's called RPM, uh, ricotta, mozzarella, and provolone. Well, ricotta, provolone, and mozzarella. So just remember the RPM, and you'll you'll know that okay, which right cheese to get if you remember that. And what I what I usually do is I layer the cheese. I break it up and kind of layer it because I don't want it to um, like melt over in the pot. Ow, baby, you stepping on my feet. Okay, the food is almost done, baby. Okay, so you layer it like that. Okay. You see that? It's cooking really nice. I'm just going to turn it down. And I think I might put another piece of cheese because this is, for some reason, this is fat-free cheese. And I don't like fat-free cheese, but this was the only provolone that I saw. So I had to get the fat-free cheese. I like, look, I want my fat in my cheese. Listen. Does it make it taste good? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I hope it's done. I should have flipped it again before I put the cheese on, but uh, we'll just work with it, work with it, work with it. 
it's, it's not meat, so we ain't got to worry about it being raw. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? All right, so what we're going to do right here, like, so, like, like, so, like that. <laughs> okay, let's uh, I would heat the bun up, but I don't really care about doing all of that right now. Just because of the fact that I'm trying to conserve my time and do 20 things at once. I don't know how you do 20 things at once, but in my life as a mom, I do 20 things at once. <laughs> so what I'm going to do right now is just throw the thing on the thing. All right. Excuse all the condiments. <laughs> I'm not going to really use all of those. I'm going to use some ketchup, though. Okay. Use some ketchup. You, I might use some Dijon. I might use some spicy brown, but we'll see once I put the sandwich together. And then here's the vegan mayonnaise. I try to stay away from the, um, I use different brands of vegan mayonnaise, but I try to stay away from the regular Hellman's mayonnaise because I don't like the soybean oil. I'm, I'm, I'm not like so keen on things with soybean oil because I heard that it's not good for you. Um, so I try to do, you know. I try to do healthy things when I can. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying. I try to be healthy when I can. You know? All right. You see how you lay that on there like that? Look at that. That's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? So that's the lunch right there, okay? We're going to put a little bit of sour cream and onion chips on the side of that thing. <laughs> put the onions on top. Listen. Listen here. That might be a lot of onions, but listen, I like that spice on my on my thing. You know what I mean? I love I love the spice. So again, we're gonna use the the vegan mayonnaise. Open it up. And then we're gonna taste test after this, okay? Oh no. I hate when I see this. When you got the use the teeth when well, you got to use your chompers to get the dang on mayonnaise open like they sealed it listen listen they seal this thing to no end this this today but i was like you know what some people might be blessed by making a veggie burger okay and let me tell you those veggie burgers wasn't even expensive they were very cheap maybe three something for, for the two pack okay you want you line that mayonnaise on there like your mama taught you line that mayonnaise on there like your mama taught you Put a little spicy Dijon on that thing. Spicy Dijon. Never go wrong with a little spicy Dijon. All right. Ooh. Get it together. Get it together. All right. Put a little bit of the spicy brown. You can't forget the spicy brown. You can't have the spicy Dijon without the spicy brown. Yes, ma'am. All right. I don't like to put too much mustard. I like mayonnaise on it. But, um. Then you put a little ketchup. But I like to have ketchup all over. I like I like to drown my burgers in ketchup. Like my real like meat burgers, actual ground beef. Every bite <laughs> has to have a, a layer of ketchup on it. <laughs> That's how much I love ketchup. <laughs> all right, so there you have it. Let me move everything out the way so you can see it. <laughs> Okay. 
So that's the burgers. Okay, no, I'm not sure if I'm saying much right now. Clean your hands too. Make sure you continue to wash your hands as you're cooking throughout your cooking. Okay, you can wipe them on your shirts when you're done, as long as you got a clean shirt, or you can use the paper towel, however you see fit. I like to use microfiber towels too to um, dry my hands, but that's not a big deal. Anyways, this is the sandwich right here. Okay, you see that? I think I had to burn on backwards, but that's okay. I gotta get my paper plate out because this thing is wet. Okay, so we're gonna put on the paper plate. I don't know why that plate is wet. Oh, because I rinsed it earlier. But I thought it was dry by now. I don't know wet bread. No soggy bread. Okay, so there are the burgers. Let me take this off so you can see it. You see that? Look at that. Look how great that is. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Now let's see if you can catch me eating it. All right. It's probably really hot right now. So, let's see. We're going in. Mmm. I think I put too much mustard on it. But other than that, it's delicious. Mmm. 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 Listen, you can't tell me that that's not a burger. Mmm. -mm. You cannot tell me that that's not a burger. And it feels so healthy going down. That's what makes it so much more special. Because I feel like I'm eating healthy. Like, <laughs> like I feel like as I'm eating, I'm getting so many nutrients. <laughs> well, anyways, thank you for watching. Time for me to indulge. Me and baby to indulge. And, hey, try it out for yourself. It's called Beyond Burger. And, and that's it. Have a blessed day. Okay, bye.